Well, ahead of World AIDS Day this weekend, our programming is exploring different elements of the deadly virus. Joining us now uh, to discuss the treatment and, and medicines for H HIV AIDS is Stavros Nikola, Aspen Pharmacare's Senior Executive of Strategic Trade Development. Stavros, thanks for coming through to the studio. Thanks you for know, having me. It's almost like AIDS is now becoming passe. Um, many, we aren't having as many people dying as were in the past because of efforts of, of people uh, like yourself and, and Aspen. But it, it's a danger that surely there's a danger here that we start ignoring the reasons why HIV AIDS is trans transmitted in the first place. Well, I, I think probably the most, uh, the best way to answer is to, to highlight some statistics. So we, we've currently got in sub-Saharan Africa around 25 to 30 million infected people. So, so we harbour collectively as a continent, we, we harbour the majority of the disease burden. And there's only around 7 million or so that are being treated. Now of those 7 million, 2.2 million happen to reside in our country here in South Africa. And if you look at the South African statistics, there's uh, close on 6 million people infected. And as I said earlier, 2.2 million that, that are currently on treatment. Now, it doesn't mean everyone that's infected is eligible for treatment because there's certain treatment protocols and guidelines that, that need to get followed. But suffice to say that certainly on the continent, um, there's a huge unmet need still. So around 40% uh, of the people that need to be treated are currently receiving treatment. Uh, our numbers are a lot better here in South Africa where it's closer to around 80% of people that require to be on treatment are, are presently receiving treatment. But I, I think the point I'm trying to make though is that in the years to come, because people are living longer with the pandemic, those numbers are going to ratchet up. And the WHO has got a target it set itself, it's called 15 by 15. In other words, that's 15 million patients on treatment by 2015 in developing and emerging markets. So the number is going to ratchet up, the number of yeah. infected or the number of people being treated? The, the number of, uh, of people being treated primarily, but the, the pandemic's also not dead, so there are people that are being uh, infected every day. So although uh, the numbers aren't as scary as they were five years ago in terms of the number of new infection rates, there certainly are people that are being infected at the rate of roughly 800 to 1,000 a day. That's how many new infections you're seeing in, in developing and emerging markets. And uh, as I said, a huge number of people that will require treatment in future or that still currently require that are not receiving treatment. So I think that's probably where we need to keep the focus. Or, or one of the focal points. There's a couple of others which we can discuss, but certainly the numbers uh, are still telling us a, a story that we, we need to be vigilant and certainly can't become complacent. What's Aspen's role in ensuring or rather or, or, or providing the need out there to providing more more, more, more treatment available to, to those who are affected? Well, I, I think, you know, charity sort of always starts at home. So I think Aspen's focus has largely been on, on being a significant contributor in the South African environment. And we're presently the largest supplier, both in the private and the public sectors, of, of antiretrovirals. Just to give you a sense, I mean, we, we provide over a, over a million monthly patient treatments into the public sector, and roughly about 100 of the 200,000, so about a 50% contribution in the, in the private market. So we're a significant contributor. This is a it's a, it's a high volume but very low margin business. And, and sometimes it's, uh, you know, you kind of, it's not hard to view, it's, it's hard not to view it as, as almost a corporate social responsibility initiative. Because the margins are very low, but I, I think, you know, it's something we've, we've done since inception in the last decade. We launched the first generic ARV in South Africa against the odds. And it's something we've been committed to and uh, it, it's something that if we were to pull the plug on, I think would, uh, mm. it would have severe consequences. So, so obviously we've got to keep uh, supplying and keep delivering and, uh, and keep contributing. I, I can't let you go without some comment on your potential new competitor coming from Chile, uh, the whole Adcock-Ingram CFR deal. How are you guys viewing it at Adcock, at uh, Aspen? 
Well, I, I don't think I'm in a position to comment. I, I, we don't even know who the new competitor will be. I mean, mm -hmm. I understand. But you know CFR, though. We, we do know CFR, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, the way I understand it, shareholders have got until the 18th to, to yeah, but do you bump into them in the international markets? That's really... Uh, very remotely, I'd say. I mean, we, we know who we are because we try and keep on top of our business. We try and, you know, we, we're, uh, we, we're quite strongly represented these days in Spanish Latin America. So we're obviously we're aware of who they are. But uh, I think we need to, to wait and see what deal is consummated, if any. But they're not, uh, you're not quaking in your boots at the fact that they I, could I be think, you know, Aspen's quite a diverse business today. I mean, we, our, our biggest market geographically is, in, in fact, uh, Asia, which includes Australia. That's our biggest market. And South Africa's second biggest. And then you get Latin America. So we, we're quite a diversified business. 70% of our, of our turnover comes from offshore these days. And we're very proud of Aspen being a South African business as well. Th uh, thank thank you, much. as you could hear from <laughs> Kugu there a bit earlier. Uh, it's great that you, you're making your contribution, particularly in the HIV or the fight against HIV AIDS. Thanks, thanks so much. Thanks uh, for having me. In our country. Well, that was Stavros Nikolaou, uh, Aspen PharmaCare's Senior Executive of Strategic Trade Development.